Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. This is Mrs. J. In this video of CSEC Geography, we are going to be looking at plate tectonics and we are going to be going through some paper tool past paper questions. Let's get to it. Alright, so let us begin. This is question number two. Figure two is a diagram of the Caribbean showing the position of three plates and features produced by movement of the plates. Study, study the diagram carefully and use the information to answer the questions that follow. So this is our diagram that we have here. That's a diagram of the Caribbean. And we're seeing some areas labeled. So let's just look at the question. Name any five of the features labeled A to G. So name any five of the features. So notice that the question said the features. So that's exactly what we are required to name. So since we are going to go through, we're going to name all of the features instead of just five. It goes from A, B, A to F. So let us just A, B, C, D, E and we will put F here. So for A, A is a trench and based on its location here, we can say that that one is the Caymanus Trench or Cayman Trench based on where it is located and B is another trench and it is right above Puerto Rico so this would have been the Puerto Rico trench so we're going to write our answers in C here it says it's a volcano and it is pointing to this island here which would have been the Mount Pelly volcano so that would mean that you would need to know the Caribbean islands first of all in order to answer these questions. D is the island chain. So it is showing us this entire thing here. All of this here is what we are being asked to identify. The island chain is actually an island arc. All small volcanoes in that line. So this is island arc for letter D. And for E, it is asking you to identify plate E. That's the plate that would be up here. So we are seeing the Caribbean plate outlined right here. This is the Caribbean plate. We're seeing the Caribbean plate outlined. So once you know the Caribbean plate, and even if you don't know the Caribbean plate, once you identify the Caribbean countries, the plate that they are sitting on is the Caribbean plate. So this is your Caribbean plate. We know that right above here, this section is North America. So we're seeing a part of Florida there. So plate E would have been the North American plate. And then we have plate F, which is right beside the Caribbean Sea, and all of the Caribbean islands are sitting on it. So plate F would have been the Caribbean plate. So any one of those that you wrote would have given you the five marks that is allotted to the question. So let's move on to letter B. Describe one way in which oceanic trenches can be formed. All right, so this is a four mark question and you are asked to describe. And you're only going to be describing one of the ways. So you're going to identify a way which oceanic trenches can be formed and then you're going to give some detail about it. So, all right, we are gonna just do two ways just so that you have options when you are doing your question. So let us start here. 
oceanic trenches will develop when continental plates meet oceanic plates. So we can say continental plates meet meeting oceanic plates. at a zone of convergence will cause the development or we can say formation will cause the formation of oceanic trenches Then now we have to explain exactly what takes place when the continental plate meets the oceanic plate. So that's where we're going to talk about subduction. So the oceanic plate is subducted. and along the zone of subduction so that should be enough. This explains exactly what happens to give you your four marks. The other thing that we can talk about, the formation of oceanic trenches, would be at the other plate margin, which would have been along a transform plate boundary or transform plate margin. So we can say that trenches, if this is the one that we were doing, because it said we should do one, trenches can be formed along transform plate boundaries and then we have to explain what it is that is happening at the transform plate boundaries where the plates move parallel to each other and at different rates. This will create a gap between the two plates. This will create a gap between the two plates and then the upwelling of magma will occur. Two plates where an upwelling of magma will occur. So that should give you the four marks as well. All right, so that's what you would write in order to get your full marks for describing the formation of oceanic trenches. So the other question relating to plate tectonics is describe one way in which a volcano can be formed. It asks us to describe one and it said to describe so that means we are going into detail similar to what we did before and this is a four mark question. Whenever you are doing paper two questions it is very important that you look at the verb that is in the sentence. If they say you should describe, list, state, outline, suggest, then you have to pay attention to the amount of marks that are allotted to the question. So if it is a 12 mark question, then it means that you are not expected to write only four lines. You are required to write more and provide deeper explanation. So let us go for this one. Describe one way in which a volcano can be formed. All right, so we're going to have to discuss the plates. So let us do here because there are two different ways. So one. Volcanoes can be formed at 
at convergent plate boundaries. Where, where oceanic plate, oceanic and continental plates collide. At this zone, the oceanic plate, which is laden with air particles, etc., which is laden with water and sediments, subducts. or plunges into the into the hot mantle below so you are giving a detailed explanation of exactly how the volcano would be formed so even so far i have not stated exactly how the volcano would would occur as stated only the starting section of it fluids from the descending plate influences the movement of magma the upward movement of magma which escapes on the surface through cracks creating a volcano. There you go. So that is a detail through cracks creating a volcano. All right, so that would give you a detailed explanation, a basically a detailed step-by-step -step explanation as to how a volcano can be formed. That is at the convergent plate boundary. The second way that a volcano can be formed, remember you're only asked to write one, but we'll go through the second one just the same. The second way that a volcano can be formed they can be produced at a divergent plate margin where the plates are moving away from each other. So, oh, we could add here as well that volcanoes that are created in this way are generally violent. And volcanoes that are created at a divergent plate margin are not usually violent. So, let us begin. So, volcanoes can be formed. at a divergent plate boundary where plates move away from each other. The upwelling currents which help to move the plates apart, help to move the plates apart assist in Assist in the release of pressure causing the plates 
to melt the magma is to the surface through the space created and forms a volcano that erupts quickly so let's just separate this here all right so this would give us the two clear explanations or two clear descriptions as to how a volcano can be formed so we have done both of them in detail both for the convergent plate boundary as well as for the divergent plate boundary that is our last question for plate tectonics that we're going to be looking at at this point if you have not already subscribed to the channel please go ahead and do so we are going to be completing more past paper questions paper two and paper one questions by topic so this is the one for plate tectonics we are going to complete another section for volcanoes even though we have a volcano question in this one and then we will move on to earthquakes etc you can find us on instagram at natken underscore educational underscore services you can follow us on facebook at natken education or follow us on twitter at natken education or you can visit our blog for notes and other information relating to CSEC geography. That is www.natkeneducation.blogspot.com. Thank you so much for watching. It is always a pleasure to assist you.